All right, what's good? It's your solo Dello fellow Dello dude, Deuce Duke, man. Ooh. We got High Tribe Plus in this motherfucker, man. Yeah. So, you know why we here. You know what we finna talk about. Everybody finna put their two cents in on this whole BBL Drizzy and uh, K-Dot in this mug. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all want to call it. it. It's a lot of tragic, toxic things happening in the world right now, man. We finna touch on all of it. Me, I'm on my J. Cole-ish. I think the beef is, you know what I'm saying, gotten too deep. I want to go kumbaya, but everybody else got different opinions, man. Y'all can go ahead and talk about what y'all think. Sad. I don't smoke and I don't drink. I don't think the way you think. Man, I got so many problems, fuck around, might need a shrink. Keep it dapper, call me Carlton like my sister Hillary Banks. I might just blow up to my motherfuckers, but not blink. Militant like a soldier, boy, would've thought that I may crank. I'm just trying to do these niggas like 50 did murder. Wait, who, you, you want Kumbaya? That's what you're saying? I don't want it to get too bad. No, I don't, I don't want any of that. So I'm, yeah, I'm, but, yeah, I think it's already started. This past that point to bad. stop it. No, 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 not even bad. stop it. We, uh, okay, hold on, y'all. Train's already going. Locomotive going. Mm -hmm. Right now, we at a point of, I think it could just end. Like, this is, Kendrick got an album coming out. Don't Drake got a Percocet ulcer or something. He needs to go <laughs> on vacation. Get deal with his stomach issues. End this. Uh, some certain things are starting to get said, you know, like I was saying earlier. Bringing up the game in this. It's getting a little, all right, I don't want to see no niggas standing in comp and shooting nothing, as Queasy said off camera. I don't want to see a nigga in comp. I don't want to see that light skinned nigga nowhere near comp. Don't prove he, nothing. He, yeah, this is, this is great. We've got nine songs in 22 days. Ever since you That's my favorite dropped. thing about this whole thing. Yeah, we, we've that's gotten an favorite. incredible just exchange. The, con the amount of content, the amount of, like, No matter just how you feel, that's why I'm off. just like the... These niggas is putting on master classes. Kendrick is, is just dominant. He is... I, but I know what you're oh, going to say when it's your turn, Quincy. Oh, oh, no Diddy. No Diddy. My that was crazy. That was wild. That was crazy. I told you, hip-hop hip hip in, <laughs> no. hip in the gays is never only Nicki Minaj. All right, y'all. So, but, yes, this nigga's putting on a master class. I do, I do think the boy is rapping his ass off. He is just getting out rapped. He's getting out strategized. He is getting out tactic. He is getting draped to himself. He got a hit record out. He got back to back. A nigga put out a timestamp record. Wrap this <laughs> shit up, nigga. Wrap <laughs> this shit up, dog. Stamp record. Yeah, that, that's true. Not just because he put out Hard Part Six. You know, that's cool. That was dope. I ain't gonna so. lie. The eeriest song was that that uh Meet the Grams. Yes. I I heard that. I was like, I my spirit this. don't need this right now. So like. That's, for me, that's why I'm like, you know what, J. Cole might have had a point. Maybe this beef is just too much. He knew what was going to happen to him. That nigga started the beef. Y'all better stop coming like this. I mean, like, he got to have some accountability. He got to have some accountability. I've literally said it since the beginning. These songs are already, like, pre-made. Pre Cole knew about the leak. Cole knew about what Kendrick was about to do. Cole knew about all this shit. He just was like... I'm good. This is not what I'm trying to do for the summer. This is not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> he said it disrupts to, his I'm spirit. Saying, yeah, for the whole, like, he's like, bro, that's not what I'm trying to do. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Cole's got one more album coming and it's, it's not focused. Yeah. And it's not focused on this beef shit. I guarantee you it's focused on some spirituality shit. It's focused on adult it shit. Be. The content, the content <laughs> shit that... I, I, I promise you... I, no, you better say I guarantee you... He better not mention one name. He better not mention one name. I hope you... I guarantee you there's better. a cool album coming out before the summer or during the middle of the summer. Um, and it's just this type of image and this type of thing would not be beneficial for it because it'll contradict what he's saying, like in court. Like, I, I guarantee so. Cole could compete, but we're not gonna have that conversation. But of course, Cole could compete. It's Cole. We have a conversation, but it's just, it's just not what it's not what we want. This ain't this ain't what he thought. This ain't what you. Want. That's a fact. It's, it's just not what he thought. It's just not what he thought it was. Gonna be. He talked Greg this a lot. This isn't say. fucking. Right. I need to see somebody get shot. <laughs> nah. Somebody nah, gotta get That's shot. That's not crazy. Stabbed. See, wrap this Run up, Drake. Drop in my feelings, dog. Spit like, wrap on. this up, dog. That's That's I don't crazy. care, bro. So, so even in that, do you think it's that far away? It's that, that far. That, Nigga that said, far? my son. That's crazy. Nigga said, your they son talk, all the time. They talk about both. He said, son. your son. Nigga, yeah, everybody. Yeah, people talk about kids all the time. Everybody's always like, oh, don't break out the kids. Niggas talk about kids all the fucking time. Nah, nah. There is no rules. But listen, as two fathers, 
I need to see one of them niggas swing on each other. That's it, <laughs> if not, they both pussy, bro. That's it. So all I'm both... saying is, my well, I've been saying this all week. My crash out meter is through the roof, bro. Like nigga, I, I, gunplay got stabbed. Stop acting like we we don't understand what he's beef in real is. street. Nigga, but like that's that's not, that's not what we're <laughs> looking for. Though. Though. That's not what we're looking for. That beef nobody, got started over niggas. Nobody talking is shit. looking for street beef. This whole nah. thing has never been about street beef. The only reason everybody's been championing it because it's hip hop beef. Nah, Everyone wants to but, see that type of thing. But nobody wants to see be a cool. street that'd beef. Be nobody's cool. trying to see niggas die. That'd be cool. If neither one of these niggas both didn't say, nigga, I want to fight. <laughs> both these niggas out there both said, I want to put hands <laughs> on you. They're going to fight. I want to get I, I, I want to see uh, hey, too, He guys. said, I want to see he said and Drake I quote, I want to this about Drake. Drake I want to speak to the man in the house. LA niggas hand out fades. That's a, Come, get That's a Come get this ass whooping. Come get this ass whooping. Is he talking physically? Nah, I think Drake. That's a good bar. Drake, Drake a fight. He's not fighting nobody. This is my thing. So when LA niggas talking about winning the fades, they talking about battle rap? They got good insurance. Hey, he know what he was talking about. We know what Kenny was talking about. He know he appropriate. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. The reason why I think Drake a really hit or do something stupid is because like Drake don't like his ego being attacked whatsoever and and the, and the most dangerous person in the world is to underestimate it everybody keeps saying he ain't gonna do nothing he ain't gonna do nothing if it's not him you know you even joked about it uh earlier this year when you was like well that nigga got x out the way that wasn't a joke nigga that's real <laughs> shit <laughs> what the fuck we talking about so it's like, yeah, I don't know the, I don't know the full people. information I don't want to disclose yeah, no, anything they, but... they, they, debunk, they debunk that it's a lot of lyrics. It's a lot of lyrics flying around. It could go well, in listen, that direction. That's now. what Kendrick said. He said all that fake seven about X, nigga, stop that. Come do that shit to me. No, and, oh and, that, and that's oh what man. they did. Oh man, I respect it. Oh man, I want everybody to be safe. That's it. Right, that's all I want. No, nah, yeah. no, nah, nah, I'm nah, so yeah, serious. Yeah. Nah, that's beef of our stay generation. Stay dangerous. Already. Stay as violently up, dangerous we, we as we, possible. We, I, yeah, I'm I, saying, I don't, I don't he has man, horns on his head. I don't want no more takeoff situations. I'm young, I'm, queasy, I'm and I we promote violence. No more ex situations. We don't want this. I promote violence. All right. So out of all of the songs so far, which one you think is like your favorite song? I like Family Matters the most. The most, and I only like the third part. The the, the last one when he just talked to Kendrick. I was uh, like, Euphoria. My favorite song because what I'm trying to say in the grand scheme too because I keep calling the pedal bop for a reason because that's funny but it's like that's not uh I'm, I don't want to see them put money behind this record uh do not have people dance around to a pedal bop you know what I mean like I uh, could then that's why I'm kind of like when he made the pedal bop I was like oh this nigga is on foul turn it hey yo wrap this up wrap this up wrap this it is, up this is okay I'm okay like niggas making dances and you, you asked earlier, y'all trying to make a dance to the pedal box? No, 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 I'm not. I promise you, I got some jokes. I got some little stories on, but we are not about to be, whoa, come on, y'all. That shit hard, it. though. I feel it. Like, which, which one of these songs is your favorite song so far? Uh, uh, two songs. I'd say Eat the Grams. Oh, you like the dark shit. Like, you no, like I, thought, I felt like, you like, like I feel like that was when... That was a pivotal change, yeah. a, di a dynamic shift. That's when it got personal. Yeah, in, in my opinion, that was the most scathing. I don't think I've ever heard anything. I felt like I shouldn't be listening to it. Exactly. You know? No, I felt like, that same I way. I felt, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like you can feel the hate through the track in there, to where like he's trying to like he's trying to like affect this man, and it's like again, we were talking about this shit earlier. That song is gonna affect Adonis. His whole, regardless of either, whether it's they both lied, whether it's all lies, whether it's all just a big thing. Bro, this song is going to follow his son, Adonis. Like, oh, like your name is brought up in two parts of like one of the greatest hip hop beefs that had to involve yo papa. And, 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 and this one, he's talking to you directly. Push T just brought you to the world. But like. Kendrick, Kendrick is talking to you for some way. Don't ever piss on your legs, son. He's telling you embarrassing things about your dad. Also, don't ever tell my mama to sit down. Uh, yeah, don't ever tell my mama to sit down, bro. Tell my mama. I do agree with Kev, though. Meet the Grounds was the greatest chess move. Like, uh, Euphoria and 616 had dropped. 
I was already saying, oh, the boy is down. I was texting you. I was like, man, he down, man. Family Matters drop. Niggas couldn't enjoy it, especially if it was in real time. Because I've talked to so many people. The niggas in real time, it big meet the grammars. Because, like, when you, if you didn't have time, some niggas heard Family Matters once and was like, nah, man, I had to go. I, I, we went straight to it, to the meet the gram. And it was it was just a beautiful chess move. And then didn't let it sit for 12 hours before he gave us the bop. Based in the Family Matters response. And yeah. I went, okay. Well, and then what, 616? I, I know that's like, that's, that's probably going to be like, the most unremembered song out of this whole like exchange, but like yeah, that and Taylor Made. Probably, probably that was one. Yeah, no, Taylor Made was pretty hard. I haven't even heard. I'm, it. I'm just talking consensusly. I'm not trying to say not, like uh, Taylor Made did. What, what we all crazy like right now, now but. I, I do like the third Cause the West need you. <laughs> Can't let this Canadian nigga beat you. <laughs> that part. The West Coast savior. Nephew. <laughs> I can't believe him, bro. I hate Drake, bro. Like, Drake is so mean. That nigga is funny, man. <laughs> bro, he said... You're dumb and reactive. Yeah, this has been great. I'm We've gotten all this content. How many videos have you done since this started? Oh, man, this has blown up my YouTube. Come, Come on, on, man. Yeah. Everybody's eating. Joe Button said it. Everybody's eating off this shit. They've given us so much. Kendra, go drop the album. Drake, go on vacation, bro. It's okay. I'm trying my best to keep it's my, okay, bro. my Thank spirit you. intact. <laughs> this, this, was, this was incredible. All my, right, so, <laughs> Golo, what you thinking is the best song out of this exchange so far? I really like Euphoria, man. I'm not gonna lie. Man. Euphoria? I really like. I really like it. the transitions and things like that. But um, I wasn't mad at Drake song either, bro. The, as I listened to Push Ups more at first, I was like, "This is corny as fuck." Right? Then I started listening to it a little more, and I was like, "Okay." Then you heard the second part. Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, he's sliding." But then just even in that, I think at the end of the day, we have somebody that's like. A pop star versus an actual oh. lyricist and a rapper. So you was never supposed to be in this battle anyway type shit, you feel me? But Drake's we a rapper, hear, though. And that's the, but he the, is, though. No, but he got... Drake is a rapper with bars, 100%. I'll never take that away from him. He get right. I mean, he has, like, songs are amazing type shit. But that's what he makes, amazing songs. So you'll say something catchy. Opposite to that, Kendrick will say something catchy. And then have like an underlining jab that's gonna make a nigga think like, damn, what, yeah. what the fuck was that? Like, what, what, what did he really? That's why this was such a beautiful uh, battle because it was a stylistic clash in every type of way. Like these niggas like, really, LeBron and Steph Curry, they play really two different ways, and like I. I yeah. I can't I can't speak to so much of just the, the the volumes of like Kendrick answered every bell in here. Oh, you want it to be catchy? Here's that. Oh, nigga, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this story like I always right. do. And that's why everybody thought he was gonna lose that. Yeah, yeah. And, and and that's why I think he showed up so much. But I also want to always give, and that's why I was kind of trying to tell uh, Dolo like the hip hop nigga and Drake. The, yes, his pride took this battle, but it's the hip hop pride in him of like. This nigga really a historian. He studied the game to the left. You know what I mean? Like, I want this battle with my peer. This not Pusha T. This not Kanye. This not Common. This is, hey, this is, this not me. This is my, the nigga, everybody been saying. We wanted to. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mano, e mano. And he took the battle. Where does it end? Right. That's why I was still just like, wrap it up. I am proud of Drake, though. I ain't gonna, I, I'll never even take that away. As much as I am a Kendrick fan, I know I be saying I'm a Drake fan, but y'all, y'all don't believe me. I'm actually proud of Drake because he's been holding his own. I do think he's still losing, but he's been holding his own. And yeah, then, that's this, all I want to say about this fight. If it's a boxing match, he's fought in every round. He's just lost every round. That boy, he's swinging for his I, ass. I gotta, he's trying hard, nigga. I got a split decision. Can't, nigga can't, talking can't, about can't, a minor can't, nigga better be sharp. He put the keys in the back. I said, this nigga trying hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's how you know Kendrick, and that's why it just speaks volumes to what Kendrick is doing. That is a master class that boy putting on over there. Drake is trying his ass off. <laughs> I said, damn, nigga. And granted, Drake hasn't put out a hit in this yet. Right, I'm with you. Push Up is the corny one, but it's the one you got to shoot at all the niggas. We got to get all this cropping. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums. Legendary. That's that. yeah, uh, but Kendrick understands hype perfectly. Like, like no, he more. sees the moment. He sees the moment. Type, like, he, he'll, he'll, he'll take advantage of a moment like no other, I feel like. Yeah. Like, Drake is, he's super cool, but he's super monotone. Well, and Kendrick can do, Kendrick can do it all. Not monotone in the sense of like, you know, he can't sing or nothing like that, but like, he not going to hit the inflections that Kendrick is going to hit. That's why Kendrick's song has been so diverse. 
Uh, I think the homie, me and the homie was talking about it. Like he just wished Drake admitted he was more Kanye than he is Wayne, because he is. He is Tight. that student of I want to soak up this game and get this yachty energy I and agree. make this simplistic mm-hmm. thing. And I think that has held him back in the last few years, getting some of the yachty records and having to do. And I don't want to say dumb down, but more the simplistic rhymes and just oh, I want to be in these melodies and cadences, do these yeet records, do this Cash Cobain thing. And there isn't a lot of time where when Cole walked you down, you said. Hey, change the beat. Yeah, go. What, what your button say, Queasy? He said he walked that nigga to his car like, man, you went crazy. And said, yeah. different beat. <laughs> hey, you remember how Travis tried to do him when he walked him down on Sicko Mo? He did the same thing. I said, boy, he got his ass whooped on that. I, when I first talked to you, I said, this is going to be a beautiful battle because we know shouldn't nothing come of this. Shouldn't nothing violent come of this. This should be a sparring match. I didn't think we was going to get into the, the claims. I want to stop saying all that. <laughs> uh, but uh, what a beautiful display. I saw you when you said the new shit came out and you was like, hey, man, I don't even want to get into all of that. You ain't even playing on it. Nigga did a three-minute video. He got in and out. Like, look, man, that's what I think, man. Them niggas getting messy. This shit crazy. Them niggas getting messy, but I'm out, yo. J. Cole. I'm on J. Cole's side. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, and once we get in there, it was like, uh, that was why I love Button putting out his pod, even though it was dated from Friday morning, only having heard 616, but they was like, he should bow out of this, because they finna get messy, and this nigga just, he, I'm, I'm fl- glad he said the number, he just got 400 million for that, for that shit. This nigga whooped you, dog. They but nobody, I didn't think a pop star should even be here. I said it the first time when he fought uh, Meek Mill. I was like, I thought Meek should have hey. beat the shit out of him, but y'all think, then come to find out, Meek's a bitch. Ooh, hey, let me tell you something. Damn, this is recorded. Damn. Yeah, let me tell you something. Nah, stand on it. It's always stand on it. It's always stand on it. I say that, bro. Do your thing, though. I say that because, bro. I say that. I say that with love for one, bro. But I say that because, bro. I was a fan of this nigga music, oh, yeah. bro. That nigga Riley Freeman, bro. Rose, that Cole. nigga, come on, bro. You Riley Freeman, me, bro. That's like, very not gangster. How you drop like... the gun, gangster listeners? <laughs> that is very bro. not gangster. I just say, now, now, this, that. now this part, yeah, that's funny. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that part, yeah, that's a good way to articulate that. Uh, Even before that, bro, like... You like Drake Washington. No, you yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, oh, but also oh, that's oh. always been my Drake defense, too. That even after they was done with the beef, if you watch Meek Mill's documentary, The Joke on Amazon, he blamed that beef on perks. He said, listen, bro, I was addicted to Percocet. I, never, I, I woke up the next day, didn't even see what I tweeted. I saw my phone blowing up. I was like, damn, and Drake's and, got and, shit. And, 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 and Drake got shit. He got shit. He got shit. He got shit. He got shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Because so I, yeah, I had like Zolo the comment. What was the song was back to back? No, 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 he no, also no, made Stay Scheming, too. I thought you were talking about me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about back to back. But he also made Stay Scheming. He got back to back. He got back to back and Stay Scheming. This nigga is the guy. He's the like on your boss. boss's record. <laughs> <laughs> on your boss's record. That's he, it. Bro, he, he different, killed bro. him. He different. It was insane. He's a different dude. You had nothing to come um, uh, But 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 that's again what just keep speaking to it should be uh, I, this is like when LeBron lose on ESPN. Niggas gonna talk more about Drake's loss than Kendrick's win, but it should be exemplified. So I got a question. So is it so at no point are these Artists gonna stop. They're gonna basically continue to be able to. Say I think we're gonna get some but I don't personal. think we should keep getting. Man. Drop the albums, bro. Ain't no personal. Yes, it bro, got personal. It's personal. But. Somebody gotta get punched in the face, bro. So what's gonna happen to Drake? So he can just go on vacation, come back, and act like it never happened. No, you dropped. That's why you dropped the pop song like you did with Push. It got too he personal. Not even Kim, but Kendrick's not gonna let this die, bro. He's not gonna just be like, "Oh, I'm gonna let you go home with yes, your tell tale." You got to drop. You gonna let him go? Nah, 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 Drake. He, I'm he's telling you, about to drop down. Drake's got more in the cut, bro. I don't know if you know they both have a they lot. Both, of, they both. They have both have a lot in the cut. Both camps are. That's why. Like, that, what the, more the, can the be nine, said? The though. 19 oh, days I'm in between, poor. like that and push-ups, and the 17 days. We gonna get sick of alle- we gonna get sick of allegations. I know that for for a fact. The like, beautiful tweet: Whoever pulled with seats win. But I don't. We ain't getting no receipts on either side. They both Wrap play this shit up. Big, bro, This both, is nasty. This is where, like when <laughs> two politicians are running, you see. Hi, I'm Tom McDonald, and I run this campaign. <laughs> if you vote for Sally Runner, yeah. then you are. Uh, uh, uh. And then she beautiful. goes, Hi, I'm Sally Runner. Uh. If you vote for Tom McDonald, then you're supporting a Neil Dirty. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. on, on both sides, all the games have been played. Can't Best play. take on this whole beef that's been given has been it's by Ben Staple. Ben Staple. He's given the biggest. We all are just 
cooning out right now. Yes, Paying attention are. to this. <laughs> A little shimmy show. Hey, in the middle of a war. When in reality, we don't understand war. what's going on in the actual don't music laugh. business. The actual music business is taking a shift right now. The shift is going towards oh, more corporations not needing artists, leaning towards AI. Soon, we're just going to be commodified. We already we're that. getting replaced. And, yeah. like, this, this is just, like, the bigger powers distracting us with something and giving us one last raw. And pay attention, y'all. Hey, conspiracy queasy. Conspiracy. Ain't no conspiracy. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> this is real. Shout out to Vince Staples. Damn real. And then, uh, shout out to J. Cole. See, man, J. Cole knows, bro. That's why he bailed out. He was like, what is y'all doing? Y'all clowning. Hey, man. To get mean, back hey, into hey, the ignorance hey, stop, real quick. Stop, stop, stop that Cole defense. Because he nah, has man. to be accountable. He got to be accountable, bro. For, for, for starting it. shooter. For starting a butcher it. feature. He been calling. He didn't understand. He been calling for a minute. He wanted to smoke. I mean, everybody. He didn't understand. Bro, he been over there. I want to. He he said, "Hey, bro." He he thought he was on the rumor when they got on that Jeezy song. But oh boy, didn't want to verse. Cause he didn't want to get back. He didn't want to go with that boy. He thought it was gonna be friendly. He he man, he, man. he didn't understand what was. He he didn't understand they hated each other like that. I'm telling you, I. Yes, he did. Nah, he yeah, he didn't. Did. So why he put out a diss? They to was trying to get on first verse and shoot. Because he thought it was. On some playful shit, and then he was like, "Nah, it looked like he taking it serious." He, I'm telling you, bro. He probably tried to call him after he dissed him, like, "Yo, did you get it?" And he's like, "Bro, this is not a game." And then after he hung up, <laughs> yo, <"Bro, this> is- <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, I think that is gonna win. He was like, "Yeah, boy, I'm, I'm getting at you." And that nigga was like, "Remember at the end of the nigga, bro? Remember at the end of the bulldog? Remember at the end of the bulldogs when Gangsta Liz is calling Riley?" He's like, yeah, man. Which, <laughs> I, I heard uh, from, I, source, I, I, from source that uh, Q told him at Dreamfest. This, this is real. Mm-hmm. Just make, before he got on stage. That, that'll make sense. That'll make a lot of sense. Like, hey, boy, that nigga finna go. He finna bomb. Oh, that him. nigga got pressed. I'll tell you what, really, that makes oh, them sense. Them TDE niggas them came TV in that. Them TDE niggas came in. Hey, them TDE niggas, niggas, niggas in that hallway. Hey, boy, we... They put the... Uh, go hey, out there and say sorry right hey, now. Again, nigga. but that's also why say I don't... Say sorry right now. I don't want to see... PG Lane? <laughs> that is, I don't want to see Drake in Compton through, through game. Uh, that is messy. That is to the messiest to the tenth of the fucking power. We don't have and to I, And I know it's going to be through game. Because he went and got mustard after that YG shout out for a reason. He went in that muster pack for a reason. Like, oh, you think YG on your side? Um, but I don't want this to go any, bro, this has to just stay. Go further. I can't believe Game did that. Though. Game is... I a, can't believe, bro, a, you... Nigga, it's JCR. What the fuck? <laughs> no, but he, he no, came I, in the game as a WWE no, nigga though. No, he, I, he, yeah, he a WWE. No, 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 no. He so came look, in the game full WWE. Let me let me explain. I understand the history of game, but just in that same sense, how hard of the history of being from LA. Yeah, yeah. type shit. Mm. You feel me? Like you, sh- you ain't nobody bigger than the program. Sh- that's a LA. Me, that's a LA you phrase. Feel me, you from LA, bro? <laughs> ain't nobody like, bigger than the program. What you what you doing, bro? And like, the, and if you bring no, him to LA, LA my I, uh, you from Compton. Yeah, but Compton got that, bro. You feel me? If you bring that boy to Compton, he going with that's gonna be nasty. Don't do he that. going with a check is. Game has told That's us sweet, time bro. and time. He going with a check is. Right. What happened when he left G Unit? He went where the check was. Okay then. He gonna well, go take, with the Take your check at. like Gilly and Mace Nim and just say he winning. Is it oh. fair, is it fair to say that Kendrick Lamar got your, more respect yeah. than Game and Compton? Is it fair to say that? Is it even like something oh, man, that we should even get there? That's, two, that's two different that's generations. Two different. <laughs> and I don't know LA politics or Compton yeah. politics to even speak on shit like that. So my mama told me, you don't talk on what I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> but let's just leave it at it. That'll get messy, so we don't need no just say you, got two, you got two sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You if this nigga bring Drake, Drake that, Right, bro. You, be crazy. you got top in, he, he shouted him out on Euphoria for a reason. <laughs> hey, top dog, who the fuck they think But the real with? question is why his wife don't follow him. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And why she followed Dave. They don't play the internet games. <laughs> so, Kendrick and his family has never really been prominent on the internet. Why well, should she have to, have to speak? The president. Uh, the president of PG Lang. No. Oh, and the PG president of TD. Dave is Both of them. Both of them. I don't know he about those allegations. He getting the other 50. Person. He do videos, too, Carlo. He do all the videos. He, he, he the other split that's making Kendrick pants rip. <laughs> Ooh-wee. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Lord have mercy. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar's mental health. Nah, bro, okay. if you got all of this stuff outed about you, that's what I'm saying. My crash out meter through the roof, boy. I'll be ready to... 
putting on dark clothes and putting on masks and figuring out where people stay at. You're like exciting the violence. No, I'm not. Excite the violence, bro. I promote violence. I'm saying I'm if violence. I can envision that for myself, we should be dialing it back. That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay. I will say, well, ain't nobody talking about the fact that we have finally had our first diss beat of all time. Yeah. Metro Boomin has been a a clown through this whole... Can you run that, Joe? I'll run it. This is the impact of a diss beat. All right, all right, so Kendrick put out Not Like Us. Boom. That's one song. That's one reaction. That's one, like, that's one direction where your threat is coming from. Metro could put out a diss beat, and he say, hey, anybody could get on it. Now you got thousands of diss songs against you, bro. That's when Metro came in posting all the memes, and then the BBL Drizzy go low. He kicking them while he down. He not he, You know what I mean? You know when a nigga getting whooped, and a nigga just come in like this. Come here, nigga. He, he kicking them. I couldn't believe it. So he pulled up with a Hey, go on, because the beat fire. Drake got to jump on it. He pulled hey, that's up, the only way. He that's the last song I want from He pulled up with a thousand niggas to stop him out. It's crazy. Bro. <laughs> he said, hey, yo, I didn't Come he along. said, hey, hey, he said, <gasps> he said, best verse. This nigga's popped out like the hung. <laughs> All these just trying to pop out like the hung. No, this is hate. This, this is, is different. Hate. This is this different is hate. hate. We this gonna see more producers hate, do this. More producers are gonna drop said, this beat, bro. I'm you telling you. you down. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I got a thousand niggas with me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up. He retweeting <laughs> all of them too. I'm like, oh, this nigga is. Nice. Metro has been playing it so cool. All right, so this is BBL Drizzy. This dropped earlier that's today. That's the name of the disc. That's, that's the BBL name. Drizzy. That's the name of the beat. This just. I mean, y'all seen the videos? Niggas been shouting, "Shut your whole ass up and make some drums." Oh yeah. He so, was getting done bad. This is BBL Drizzy. <laughs> he was getting Drizzy. done bad off a little. Nigga dropped the beat out. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, my bad. You know I had to Nigga listen to it at the time. Nigga dropped this metro. It wasn't even fitting in the cadence. He said, "Nah, drop this, drop this." <laughs> you gotta do this. Ain't no way you just dropping the beat out on me, nigga. Metro boom. You ain't the only one with AI. You ain't the only nigga with AI. might have hit a second prime y'all we we need to be thinking about what we witnessing right now y'all this is incredible we got a lot of great music we don't need no violence please we got too much great music we got a lot of 40 year olds mad at each other right now listening to both albums dog shout out to the, i just did the kim to it did the skin through it that was hard though <laughs> j cole you're a genius I think J. Cole's... Fall Off gonna be fire. That new Man. Kendrick album that's about to drop next month gonna be fire. Um, you don't think he gonna push it back? They are all signed to the same label. Don't get... Now I'm gonna get my Vince Staples no, back. Everybody here is on Universal. I'm saying... This is about to come he out. He gotta get his diss tracks off. Gamma. No, nigga, he about to drop the hit and it's gonna have a sneak this. It might be like a humble. He might got another hit, bro. They about to... I hope they don't put no money behind not like us. Y'all, God, please don't speak that into the universe. That is nasty. Um, but uh, you know he got another hit. And this him and just call him a little light-skinned bitch. Whatever he gonna do. Do your humble. He got an element on the album. He but gonna Kendrick keep this mad. Him. Kendrick mad. I feel like... He, he, don't 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 don't, don't you tell me Kendrick mad because when we did our first video before he responded and like every Kendrick fan I know you y'all told me he was holier than thou and he wasn't gonna respond so that's why I didn't even think he would take it to this place I didn't say he wasn't gonna, gonna respond bro I'm like yo this as a I man of integrity if you put that on somebody's jacket come on dog. I you think better, hey, bro. To this day, I think the best response. Like wine thing. Don't put that on nobody. I think the yeah. best response is if Metro dropped the like that video. I think that'll be the best response for this whole thing. Yeah, I think that, that will be the best response to everything. 
he fought. He a soldier, bro. They could get when they cameos. Go down in history, his name is still gonna be. They gonna, you know, they gonna always try to keep him off rap. Look, they gonna be like, yeah, but Drake an artist. It's okay, bro. But will they ever, will they ever give me flowers? Well, of course not. He didn't cut the you to a reason. The heart part six. And this nigga keep yeah, fighting back, and I'm like, I didn't hear this John either. Oh, uh, you didn't hear heart part six? We getting two reaction videos tonight. Yeah, I just listened to it on my way back. From it's it's a great rap song. It's just come hey, on, bro. It's a heart. Bella. He can rap. No, the boy's amazing. That light skinned nigga can rap. The, the boy's amazing. That's why. That's why I always say. And I, that's why I always say. If somebody ever say he not writing the timestamps and shit like this, I feel different than the little melodic pop shit. The song. Yeah. This right here. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090J. It's a celebration. You gotta learn to fact check days and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication. The Maybach glove and the drug you use is for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bid on a speculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga. I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following day free and not miss the morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. They ain't leaving heart emojis underneath the to the child Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now This Epstein angle was the shit I expected TikTok videos you collected and dissected Instead of being on some disdirect shit You'd rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit Mother I, mother I, wait a second That's that one record where you say you got molested Oh fuck me, I just made the whole connection this about to get so depressing This is trauma from your own confessions It's when your father leave you home alone with no protection So neglected That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with It's so excessive They acting like it's so aggressive But you just never known affection I don't wanna dish you anymore This really got me second guessing Touch my body by Mariah Carey play You probably start reflecting I never been with no one underage But now I understand why it's the angle that you really mess with just, if I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested But that's not the lesson, clearly there's a deeper message Deep cuts that never healed and now they got infected Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant Talk about greed and resentment Not sure how to ease the sentiment, the shit's too intimate I'm praying you recover from both incidents But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender Maybe a baby mama screensaver Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby I never look twice at no teenager. I do think I'm a fucking hit maker, like dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Your ass in extreme danger. Up. Stop buying views and buy comments. <laughs> I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. <laughs> if you still bumping R. Kelly, you can thank the savior. So you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit you back, it's a lot safer. I promise. I can't stand him. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like, <laughs> like they ain't corny shit like working. this, bro. Like, like, what the fuck? You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every Shut blogger up. and editor. But it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out though. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Ten more records <laughs> to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. <laughs> And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to. That's what I knew was mad. Trickling down on some whole other bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game. Like, you know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. This is his version of Meet the Everything Grimes. in my shit like, is facts. No, nah, that's a fact. I'm waiting on you to return yeah, to the family dollars responded to you for you. This was the meet the grams performance. And it's eerie. But we need, got to, we need to wrap this he up. Part part the, six and meet the grams. Low. I don't want to hear the molested. The, he the, dropped this low. He said, I bet you're feeling comfortable in that Venice studio. But he was just saying he was in New York. So which one is it? No, he bought a crib in New York. He lives in New York. But he's yeah. been out. Kendrick's been out here recording since this beef. I don't know. Schoolboy Q dropped that information. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know.
Okay, it's neither here nor there. That's good. Q, Q has been on a little press run. Okay. Yes, sir. I know Queasy be on the interview tip, though. Like, <laughs> you know, okay. I be like that. That makes sense, though, because the West Coast vibe that Not Like Us is so fire. Like It's like Mustard just sent them that pack. Not like The song yeah. was recently recorded that Mustard day. Mustard ain't sent them that pack. But, but it sound like he, had, he, sitting, on, he, he was sitting on that pack. No, no. But he was sitting no, in that lane when you no, were out here. No, he wasn't sitting on that pack. He called Mustard and said, hey, pull up to the stew. Mustard pulled up and was like, let's get it. What you For want? real? Nigga, bro. Well, <laughs> well Mustard Nigga. tweeted the song yesterday. I know the little thing came out about him uh, playing Drake and then playing that. <laughs> but uh, Mustard did tweet the song and said, I never can turn my back on the city. And I remember quote tweeting that and went, Oh, that nigga dropped that little YG line and them niggas was tight. He called YG like, you with this nigga? For real? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, side, nigga. You, you with that nigga? Nigga, side, nigga. You wanna be? You want, right, right. You, you, want, you want more right. of these you niggas? Better stop, you better stop but that's the, the Atlanta and the West Coast niggas in this have definitely stayed quiet and taken sides. They have stood with that, as you should. You should stay with your program. The thing right? is, that that's a lot of money you're going to be missing out on just to go against Drake. For real. He's not going to miss out on it. He's not going to miss out on it. He's not going to miss out on it. Drake's tapped in with the youth, bro. Bro, they they are gonna they are gonna come back. Like the what happened to Twenty one ain't said nothing. Did you see uh Gideon on? I want him to speak yesterday? so bad. He won't, cause he, I'm, <laughs> he going back. He told them niggas. He said, "Hey, I'm an Atlanta nigga." And when we talk about politics again, that's the same thing. I don't want to get deep into the bankroll thing, but Twenty One can go against those politics in Atlanta yeah, if he wants to. But what he won't do is he he's chose he showed he probably told them niggas, "Hey, bro." I'm not in this. I didn't, hey, I'm not in this. I, I got a lot of bread with that nigga. I, I, I want to keep getting bread with y'all niggas. I'm out. I'm out. And he's played that before in Atlanta. So I see. That's a fact. I've seen him do it. So when, like, when the Gideon jumped on and said the Crody shit, hung up on him. He said, well, I couldn't hear what that nigga was saying, boy. <laughs> shit started breaking up. I said, oh, 21. yeah. <laughs> he didn't talk to both sides and said, Twenty one. he out. He on this that's, what, that's why YG ain't spoke up either. He told them niggas. Bro, I'm with the, I'm with Bompton. Well, I get a lot of money with that with that little light skinned nigga. So I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. And I'm that's out. the whole thing. That's bro, get the fuck out. If they trying to Jimmy Iovine, Fifty Cent, you <laughs> Paul McCarthy, Michael Jackson, get out, bro. Go. I ain't gonna go. Lie. They gave you four hundred M's. Give them their little albums. Make your dance box. I like and go, it. bro. Gone. Kendrick had dropped a history lesson on Atlanta. That's my favorite verse. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, uh, which one was when that he one? was like, "Here, oh, no, we like called him a colonizer." He said, "I ain't gonna hold you. Hold on. This, this is where I did jump off the Drake like train for a second. <laughs> Speak it, Aubrey. <laughs> Speak it. Come on, Kendrick. Come on. Speak to him, Aubrey Graham. Who the fuck you think you is calling niggas slaves, bro?" I should whoop the Degrassi out your... Mm. Boy, you better stop. Like, don't make me call the white boy that shot you. Chill out. Claude that mercy. Hey, hey, I will Chill say... Chill bro. I that's like disrespectful, that bro. That nigga be acting like he free to say. All right, but... No, no, bro. But you don't call me. Now, that's fucked up, bro. Ah. I ain't like... This I wrote the joke. I, I, I'm on the other side. I wrote the joke already. I called him Dr. Lamar. Everybody know I wrote the joke already. He's Dr. Lamar. I don't Dr. Umar. We don't call black people slaves over here. brother. Wait a, wait a minute, my brother. <laughs> wait a minute. Kevin, I didn't Whoa. know he was wrong until I got on Twitter. <laughs> How could you be so tone deaf? I went, damn, that was my fact. I've been in a group chat tweeting that. I've been saying that to them all weekend, Dolo. I was like, that nigga rapping like he free to say, I hate that little fucking pro black ass. You know, I'm, you know, you're going in the beef. But like I said, after, no, like I was, I'm out, I was. Queasy. That's so cool. I he like is, being called a slave. He has bro. shown why he has been, they are 1A and 1B. I've called him not in 1 and 2. They have been 1A and 1B since damn drop. <laughs> Claude that mercy, boy. And he's 1A now. Ain't no 1B no more. He 1A again. I always say, when good kid and damn drop, he's, he's, he, he be 1 when he outside. When he outside on top of his shit, he 1. I mean, Mexican Rise, I don't think he was 1 then. I think he was Shout out 2022. That was a great Kodak kid, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Golo. That was good. He dropped Super Gremlin. He was on the Kendrick album, nigga. Super Gremlin. Nice. And uh, shout out, Super Gremlin is a diss. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga's great, man. He had a great man. year, nigga. He, he, I peeped he that did way spin. later. Like, way later. Oh, oh really? Man, man, you peeped that? It's a way. Yeah, uh, 2022, my MVP was Kodak Black. I was just hearing the line. That young nigga is so good. I'm so glad he's doing better. He got cleaned up. 
And see, I want the best for hip-hop. We have 50 years of this, y'all. That boy, all three of these niggas, since 09, we are talking about a 15-year run. There's only been 50 years of this. Hov got a seven-year peak, dog. Only other nigga had a run like this is Kanye, and they trying to knock him out the history book. That's so true. what I don't want to do is get into a place where that nigga's so angry in hatred that he painted the narrative, and again, putting something on jackets. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Go do your album, because if he no. is the man that we all think he is, he will bow out and he won't. I'm That's hoping, crazy. like I always say in my sexy red thing, I'm wishing for the best of these people. I'm, and until proven wrong, I'm, I'm hoping that their heart is in the right place and that you are... Even as the half Jewish man, understand your position with 400 million that you need to give back more. Even as much as he does for hip hop, you have to continue to give back. Use that's those artifacts, build a museum, and that's what I'm saying. Something. Stop this, bro. He has it like stop this, stop this, stop this. You can't we keep have getting witnessed this. something incredible. This is better than keep... Nas and Hov, nigga. It's only Tell talking me. big above this, and we know why that's better. You can't keep getting <laughs> mad at people like Mos Def if you ain't really doing nothing for the hip hop culture. That's all I'm saying. And, and most and most is right. You to so many skews. That nigga makes incredible. What, I don't like saying microwaveable like I don't like good saying. Uh, but but the, yeah, but the he nigga makes it at the highest quality. That's why the Yachty shit music. is so beautiful to me because Yachty does his dope. This nigga doing it to the supremest level with the with the number one budget and marketing behind him. I ain't gonna lie. So like this season has been like. I kind of want to call it the beef season because I don't think there's ever been a point in hip-hop where we had this many mainstream beef songs yeah. in a month span. Yeah. Like, we got... So, Like That kicked it off. Then what did we get? We got them there, uh, um... Chris Brown... No, no, no. My bad. Seven Minute Drill came after that. Chris Brown, he, he dissed Quavo out of nowhere. Quavo got back. That's going to be the weakest diss song of this whole... Chris Brown killed that nigga, bro. Killed, killed him. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Quavo Chris fan. Brown. No, niggas forgot... Chris Brown can rap. Like, they ain't listen to Chirac back in 2014, nigga. He was on that? Nigga, you don't remember when he, oh, he did? Dropped the verse. He dropped, dropped the verse. hottest verse on that beat. Ain't nobody rap harder than Chris Brown did on that beat. Earlier this year, we had Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj. What other beef songs? We didn't have, what, Glorilla and JT, they beefing. But then what? Prior to that, we got Future, Metro, Weekend, ASAP. Who else was on those albums that dissed him on purpose? Like, we've never had so many prominent diss songs in the span of like a month. And that's been crazy. This is the beef season. What, the beef season? I the need beef more. era. I need, I need more. All, the, all you mainstream artists who don't like each other, <laughs> let us know. Now is the time, more than any other time for sure. I want to know who y'all don't like. Put it on wax. All right, man. I'm finna go ahead and throw up this whole episode. Shout out to everybody that came through. We oh, performing man. on the 24th. Uh, Dean just dropped a song. Queasy just dropped a song. Uh, I, I just dropped a song. And then High Tribe just dropped a song. And then we got so much more music coming out. So much more things. It's going to be exciting summer. But May 24th, pop out to the show. If you're watching the video after that time, then hey. You know, appreciate the support, man. It's your solo dolo fellow dolo dude, Deuce Duke, man. And sh we signing out, man. See you soon. I wrestle with a bear just so I could cop a mink. I rock that motherfucker till that motherfucker stink. Hoes still fucking with me, so damn drippy need a sink. Put my thumb in a...